Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today we are going to try craft beer review number 118. We have Cigar and Flapjacks. Oh, Cigar and Flapjack. All right, now I looked at this can art here in Australia. I see that and I just think like pancakes or hot cakes and there's a cigar next to it. Looks like there's ice cream. Looks like there's maple syrup jizzled down it. And then I had to Google up, what is flapjacks? And then it came up, muesli bar, like a oat slice. You know, something that here in Australia we would have called a, a muesli bar. Something that is just uh, baked on a flat tray and cut into square pieces. But um, it turns out that in America, you may call pancakes flapjacks. But anyways... Moving on. All right, so this is coming out of Banks Brewing, which is coming out of 12 High Tech Place, Seaford, Victoria, 3198. Wow, High Tech Place. Sounds very high techy. All right, so this is an Imperial Pastry Stout coming in at 9.8% ABV. Let me have a little read at the back for you so you know what's up. All right, cigar and a flapjack. A subtly smoked dessert beer using smoked malt and conditioned on blueberry, maple syrup, cinnamon and Tahitian vanilla. Contains lactose, coming in at 9.8% ABV. Store cold, drink fresh, enjoy responsibly. Now if you want to go check them out, www.banksbrewing.com.au This is 3.9 standard drinks. You know what, let's just get right into it. Never tried this before, so I'm going to give this a try. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, all righties. Now, glass. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Very dark. I'm just pouring it in there. Just pouring it in there. See how it goes. Is it going to overflow? Is it going to stay? Is it going to stay? Look at that for art. Oh, it's kind of starting to overflow. Oh my goodness. i got to just put this down real carefully. Look at that. How's that for a pour? Now, wouldn't you want to get that at the pub, guys? All right, now. Color, jet black. Can't see through that. Carbonation, they're all the same size bubbles, kind of uh, little bubbles. Two finger head, creme colored. Look at that. Can you guys even see that or do I have to grab you out here? Come over here, guys. All right, let me just, all right, here we go. On the nose. Oh. Wow. Yep, yeah, you are getting a lot of that vanilla coming through. I'm getting like a slight chocolate. Oh, Tahitian vanilla. Is that blueberry or I'm getting like a sweet kind of maple syrup vibe? You know what? This is a really inviting nose. Head's coming down a bit. But, you know what? Let's just have our first little sip and first impressions. Cheers all. Drink responsibly. Mm. Oh, all right. Starts off sweet. You're getting that vanilla. You're getting that maple syrup. You're getting the vibe that it does have lactose. But then as it rolls past through the mid palate, you're starting get get that um that bitter that dark roasted malt vibes come through. Then it starts to head off into like a a coffee note, which is very interesting. Oh my goodness. Let's check out that lacing, eh? Oh my goodness, that's not bad. You know what? Let's just have another nose, see if it's changed after our first sip. You are getting a subtle smoke. There, there is a like there is a subtle smoke vibe that comes in when you're tasting those. Ugh, you know what? Let's just go right for it. Oh my goodness. 
this is not bad guys now this here in australia retails for roughly 24 dollars so it's only nine point <clears throat> four is it 9.8 percent so it's not really high on strength but it is very interesting now look at that look at how it's behaving isn't it nice all right i'm gonna go in for my second sip cheers everyone Very creamy, obviously, from the lactose, but oh my goodness. That just takes you through a little little ride. I mean, it's not boring. I just like how it transitions into the dark roasted malts. That's That subtle smoke that I think they're hinting out to be the cigar comes in right before it rolls over into that dark roasted malt heading towards coffee. But not like a cold brew coffee or anything like those ones. This is more of a subtle coffee. You are getting that slight chocolate, that Tahitian vanilla and all that comes in at the start with the maple syrup. You know what? Third sip. Oh my goodness. I'm actually enjoying this, guys. Obviously, stouty vibes. It is a complex one, to be honest. It's not boring, but it, but if you're thinking you want something thick and, you know, a bit higher in alcohol, then maybe this is a little bit too weak. But for what it is, for 9.8%, I mean, this is classed as like a dessert stout, so it is going to be more on the sweeter side, but it still has those nice dark roasted malts. Oh, and that subtle smoke... It is very interesting, that subtle smoke right before heading towards the uh, dark roasted malt and all that coffee. I don't mind this, guys. What would I rate this? I mean, see, you'd have, a, you'd have to have a different score levels for the different types of stouts or something. But to be honest, I paid $24 for it. I was expecting, I was hoping that it was going to be very, very good. It is very good. But is it very, very good? I don't know if it's very, very good, but it's good. It's good. I'm <laughs> 4.5. I mean, it's got to be up there, guys. It's got to be up there. If you try to look online, this tends to be sold out. So people do enjoy this. <sighs> yeah, I can see where they're going with this. Like a subtle smoke. You're getting that slight blueberry in there. But that, that vanilla, that creamy, roasty, multi vibe. You know what? Beautiful nose. Very interesting on the palate, how it transitions. I mean, look at that. It's still all there. You know what? I'm going to go in for another one, guys. Who's tried this? Let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy products from Banks Brewing all the way from Victoria? Mm. Obviously, it's not like a silky carbonation, whoosh in your mouth. But it is carbonated, so it's not like just you're drinking like a something that's just syrupy or it's going flat. I'm pretty sure that Roger Ramjet was going a little bit more flat, quicker. Mm. Like this is still, um, it's still um, active, let's just say got to find the right words for this it's still active it's still got the um the carbonations rushing up flavors are not gone flat yet it's still all there you know what i'm enjoying this i'm just going to be repeating myself like comment subscribe and um let me know if you've tried this and i'll catch you all next time cigar and flapjack i can't believe it got me to actually google up what is a flapjack it's like, what? It looks like a pancake. Why, why are they saying it's a cigar? I mean, a flapjack. But anyways, I'm just going to enjoy this now. Cheers, everyone. Mm.
Hmm. All right. Starting to go slightly flat now, and that um, that coffee vibe is coming out a lot more with that dark roasted malts right in the end. You know, at the maybe the sweet is starting to tone down, and that uh, dark roasted malts is starting to come in more. But anyways, the second of July. So fun facts: the second of July was the day that Congress passed the uh, whole "they're gonna be independence." Did I get it right? Did I get it right? All right, I can't remember the dates. Someone's got to leave that in the comments. 17, leave it in the comments and I'll um, catch you all next time. So I guess the 4th of July celebrations will be coming up for uh, all my American friends. Ooh, everyone's going to be getting their beer drinking on. But as always, drink responsibly, everyone. I mean... It is made to be enjoyed, not to be abused. You know, don't drink just to get sloshed. Just um, enjoy the experience, you know. It's always good to get to try a, a new different beer and get some new taste and flavours. So that's what this is all about. That's why I'm sharing my journey to you, to let you know if it is worth it, if it's not. And I say with this, yes, even though it's $24 and it's only 9.8%, it is interesting. It's not bad. I, I don't mind it. So would I get another one? I probably would get another one. So there you go. But there is just that many beer out there that I kind of want to get a different one every time. But cheers, everyone. I'll catch you all next time. Mm. Yeah, I uh, cut my face shaving trying to hide the uh, Band-Aid. Shh, don't tell anyone. See you all.